did Zay ever tell you, Ray? No, Zay did not tell me about that. And on top of Zay not telling me, he constantly accused me of doing stuff like that with Jake when I didn't. So to be nice. The fact that you didn't care about any of that and you total disregard of all my feelings towards the show and me not wanting to be there and how you knew I was not comfortable at all going on. After we broke up, it was a tough year for me. Like, I lost a lot of people in my life. My grandmother, my aunt, my one of my best friends. So it was a tough year, so. Sup, sup. Uh... <laughs> Watching the ultimatum has given me brain damage. Hi everyone, it's uh, it's your boy S Superman. Kind of forgot who I am, and I am watching the ultimatum. Oh, I was watching the ultimatum. Now I can't even remember what I'm doing. Turns out the last time we reviewed the ultimatum, I actually resorted myself to watching ten hours of the show. And yes, each episode was an hour each. Ten episodes of an hour each, and I think they had a reunion after that. Today, I'm reviewing The Reunion, which has more twists and turns than my hair after getting braided by a blind person. <laughs> Sorry, I've been on a 20-day bender from reality TV, what do you expect from me? By the way, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's a show called The Ultimatum, which I really think is the worst show that I've ever seen on Netflix, point blank. And you should watch that video if you have time. This is the reunion episode, where we take a look at every couple and how they're doing now. I gotta say, there's some surprises. Are they good surprises? Hell no. Why would they be? The only thing that I know for sure is that my boy Nick is there and he has the IQ of a brick. So that's always funny. Before we start the video, if you'd like to subscribe and help get us close to 500,000, that would be nice. At 500,000, I'm not even joking, I'm gonna get a big fat rock in my ear. That's right, I'm gonna be a bad boy now. While you're at it, do follow me at 16leo underscore. That way you can message me ideas for the next video, because I'd love to hear your suggestions. Whoever gave me this suggestion, by the way, take this L, because you deserve it. I don't know why you put me through hell. Oh, God. But before getting into the video, I wanted to talk about something really quickly. Something that I think could benefit many of my subscribers. I often get questions about how to get a start in YouTube and what kind of editing software I use. That was honestly one of my biggest hurdles when I was starting out because editing can be a huge challenge if you've never done it before. YouTube can definitely take on the job without any worries with easy to use but powerful editing software. Like that from today's sponsor, Wondershare Filmora. The latest version of Filmora has just been released with Wondershare Filmora 11. Tons of new features have been added and it's a great option for pros and also beginners alike because you don't need to spend hours learning it. There's no complicated interface. You can simply just jump in and start. With tons of preset templates like texts, filters, overlays, and animated stickers, you can create a video very quickly. Let me show you some of my favorite new features of Filmora 11. Template presets allow you to quickly and seamlessly create videos by selecting any template out of hundreds to choose from. You can trim clips, crop videos, adjust audio, and optimize color. In version 11.3 or newer, you can now use the awesome new feature Audio Visualizer, text to speech and speech to text. I personally like watching videos with captions on, and with Filmora, you can now automatically add subtitles to any video with a few easy clicks and no additional work. And if you don't want to use your own voice, you can now use the text-to-speech feature instead. And choose from a variety of different voices. Lastly, Audio Visualizer allows you to add visuals to any music for visual interest. So if you're interested in starting your own YouTube channel, or you're just interested in learning about video editing, Filmora is the perfect tool. Click my link in the description to try Filmora free before you make any purchase. Keep in mind, the free trial will have a watermark. Thanks, Filmora. So as I've said, The Ultimatum has a reunion, much like most of the reality television shows. They milk it like the cow teat and everyone comes on to tell you how they're doing after a certain period of time. There will definitely be lots of twists and turns and we'll get to see the couples react to some of the episodes and also look at unseen footage. So it should be fun. I, I take it back. I forgot about the music. I forgot about how bad the music is. It's like they got Haim and put them in a blender and said, here, just take it. Hello and welcome to the Ultimatum Season 1 reunion. Yeah, I hope there's only one season, bro. Why you say it like that? Welcome to Season 1. I, I wish it was, I wish he was sadder about it. Welcome to the only season of the show. He seems to be confident that they'll get another season and I do not like it. We have the entire cast. Oh, hey, we have Jake and Ray. And Jake has uh, his hair done in a nice fashion. I like it. Ray looks good. Here today to Lauren and Nate, the two people you forgot about because the only thing you know about Nate is that he's a douchebag and constantly wants to marry people to prove that he's not wrong. Except on everything that's been going on. We have Alexis and Hunter. Alexis being the girl 
who literally looks like the witch of the Wild Wild West and Hunter being trapped forever. Since the finale, and boy, do we- We have April, who's now dressed in a different color hair. She's got that blonde hair. She's like Eminem going through her stand phase. Hopefully she could wrap the lights up. Questions that we want answered. We have Shanique, Randall, and her two boobs. So that's, oh, that's a, uh, yep. And we have Zay. Remember Zay? He, he picked a fight with everyone. <laughs> Remember him? He's not even sitting with anyone because if he sits with next to anyone, he'll be like, why, why are you sitting here? Why, why are you sitting next to me for? Why you do that? He's going to pick a fight with someone today. Obviously missing two of you. Colby and Madeline, come on out, guys. Oh, we are missing people. I completely forgot that we were missing people. <laughs> I forgot about the two best contestants on the show, Colby and Madison, the two most unstable people on the face of the earth who actually were the two people first to get married. And guess what? Here's the surprise. Oh, guys. Check that out. Oh, my. She's fat. No, don't play. She's got to, she's expecting. Did you see that coming? I bet she didn't. Did you see that coming? Just like Madeline said to Colby, I didn't. I love wow. how Colby came out. He's like, eh? Y'all yeah. <laughs> yeah. see that? Y'all see what I did, I did there? Y'all see what I did there? I fucked it. Oh, God, Kobe. Why would you say it like that? Can I say this is our first ultimatum baby? We're all taking credit, too, by the way. Oh my it's God. our baby. That's the weirdest shit I've ever heard in my life. This is, this is why I would never be on a reality TV show. Because they'd say stuff like, this is our Aww. baby now. All of our babies in one. It's in you, Madeline. Our baby in you, except Nick, who never had anything to do with you, right, honey? Because if he did, I'd chop off his, you know. <laughs> You're literally glowing. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? Girl. A girl! You're literally glowing. Like, oh my god, I cannot see. Can you just put some... You're literally glowing right now. Can you just put it down? Also, Nick, can you give me that dick? We need the baby soon, because I'm getting upstanded by this glowing lady right now. Oh my god, stop. Something, something. From the ultimatum family to you. Awesome. It's probably a condom. I mean, what else would you expect it to be? These, you know, lest we forget, if this baby ever watches the show, she'll be like, oh, my mom kept trying to get with Randall, kept trying to get with the Uncle Randall and say he's so sexy. Every time Uncle Randall comes over, she touches his arm and says, if only. I just, I hate it. I hate Uncle Randall because of this has no problems, no aches, no nothing. She is just like awesome. an absolute champ about it. I, love yeah, it. I keep staring at your bump. I'm sorry, I'm like, babe. I'm like, babe, babe. <laughs> A few moments later. I'm, I'm fully stuck, by the way. Next step, starting the family. Like as soon as we got married, I was like, yeah, it's time to start making the family. So that's Colby and Madeline. And pff, I mean, congratulations to them. Uh, I did not think that they would last another seven months because the way that Madeline came in, it seemed like she just didn't even like Kobe. So on one hand, I did see them get married, but I saw her probably taking control. Although I, I guess I didn't see this happening. And, you know, you can only hope for the best. So congratulations to them. I hope you guys have a very happy, healthy child. You want kids. So when you saw Madeline come out pregnant here today, I mean, did you feel a type of way about it? I mean, jealous of their experience that they're going through right now? Hey, Nate, did you feel jealous to other people who have nothing to do with your life had a baby? Did you, Nate? Did you feel jealous when Nate Dogg made a song with Eminem called Shake That Ass where he said, and I quote, I get more ass than a toilet seat. Did you feel jealous about that, Nate? It was me coming to the realization that I would rather spend the rest of my life with her and not having kids than and have a kid to fill the, the remaining 20%. That doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so uh, let me just get this straight. You're okay with having someone who you only 80% agree with or like. And I'm not saying you ever have to find someone who you 100% agree with and like. I think that's impossible. The fact that he's like, I'm, 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 I like her. And I would rather be with her than be with someone who gives me a kid, but I don't really find them sexy, you know what I mean? The fact that this dude is okay with her deal breaker really is sad to me. Because I feel like in 7 billion people, you could definitely find someone who you like and also is willing to do the big things with you. Now, again, you don't have to agree with someone on every single thing. The disagreements can't be on huge things, right? You knew that this night was all about making a choice. Before you got up and walked around the table, you whispered, 
to Madeline yeah. that you were gonna choose her. I guess my question is, what the hell, bro? If he didn't propose, and I said this before, it did help me. All the great dates that I went on, Shanique, you know, April, every single one of y'all. All, all the great dates that I went on, Shanique, other lady, all of them, they were good, but they were not as good as the girl who I came with after picking them first. But they said no, so I will pick her. <laughs> I'm Nate. I'm a douchebag. Uh, by the way, for any of you who don't know, this guy called Hunter, he proposed to Alexis. Things were great. And then as soon as that happened, Nate was like, oh, damn, my turn. And he just did the proposal after Hunter, and it just seemed so cringy. Not really feeling that the experience might be a best fit for us was because with this one issue, who's going to help us solve it? I can solve it. You're not going to last. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, this is this is expert testimony from the greatest love doctor of all time, sixteen Leo. Uh, please don't sue me. Come on, come on. You married her out of spite, bro. You literally got down on one knee because you saw another guy doing that, and someone else was gonna pick your goal. Come on, son. Come on, sonny boy. That's not true. That's not fair. You can. It's not good. We, we sought out it. expert advice. <laughs> we did a little bit of outside work with going to therapy. There, there's my girl, Alexis, Witch of the West, asking the real questions. Are they having kids or not? Are they having kids or not? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> no, we have agreed to have one for now. Oh, uh, okay. So am I wrong? Is everyone, nobody's clapping at the fact that they managed to agree to have a kid? You're having a kid. Nobody seems happy about it. We're having one kid for now. You guys seem like you're having the kid to prove everyone else wrong. What? Dude, something about the show just doesn't add up. The couples just don't seem real to me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Something seems a little superficial or a little like for the camera. How big of an adjustment has that been for you? Everyone has like their, that beginning phase of like moving in. Don't put the towel there and like stupid <laughs> stuff, but. How has living together been for you? Yeah, don't put your towel there. Now we don't have a dog and we have a towel. I don't know what happened. Come to think of it, what well, the dog really was really a good towel. Oh my God, we, oh no. I know what happened to the dog. You made it clear that what a man brings to the table financially was important to you. you know, is, he, is he making the bacon? Is, is he out there beating the bushes? Is he making the bacon? Is he sucking and fucking? Oh Jesus, that was not the good rhyme. Is he making money? They're like both contribute equally, not as important because I think there's a lot of other things in our relationship that are better to focus on than the financial aspect. Uh, pfft, you know what? I'm gonna give everyone claps on this episode. This is amazing growth. This is not just amazing, it's almost inorganic. Suddenly Alexis, a person who literally only cared about finances, does not care about it anymore. I mean, I'm inclined to be like, this is amazing, amazing growth from everyone. Great stuff, guys. I just, I feel like someone told you to say it. That's the only problem. At Alexis's bachelorette party, you revealed that you might be pregnant. My hormones were like a pregnant woman. The next people we move on to is Jake and April, a couple they used to date, but ended up not being together at the end of the show because Jake picked Ray instead. She was his ray of hope. <laughs> There's another twist coming up, and I bet you cannot predict it. I will give you... 16 cents if you do. You, being the ultimatum detective, decided to go through Jake's phone when he was sleeping. And I know there was a time in my life when I did it. You went with hope? What? Yeah, what? what kind of host is this? The least, most biased host I ever seen in my life. There was, I, I, I've got mixed feelings about it. I like it personally because I go through Nick's phone all the time. All I see is, uh, pictures of his old albums and pictures of himself when he was back in the day. He's also got songs on there that uh, are unreleased and boy, let me tell you, I hope they never do get released. You know? If y'all are going to through each other's phones then you shouldn't be together. And I'm like, you're right. I, I need to trust this man. Uh, if you need a therapist to tell you that, then you probably shouldn't be together anyway. I gotta be honest with you, if I have a, a girl and she's like, let me see your phone. And then she starts, you know, I'm gonna be like, no, that's, that's not it. That's not it, Chief. And I'll tell you what, I don't want to go through her phone either. I do not care. I think jealousy breeds uh, insecurity. And if you're insecure about yourself, it says much more about you than the other person. If you're secure in yourself, you will not care what the other person does because if they go off and cheat, fine, so be it. I'll find someone better. I'll find someone who loves me for me and who won't do that. It's okay. And I think you should know that about yourself. N DJ Khaled always told me, Stop, Stop it. it. 
Get some yes, help. somehow that's Michael Jordan. I have to see your phone filming this close up to Ray's ass hey. doing this shit. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Ray. Huh. Whew. I can see why Jake liked her. I'm sorry, what was the question, Your Honor? Well, April, yeah, I fan. April really does act extra, huh? She got up and did a demonstration to the camera. She's like, this is what twerking is. And she just goes up and shakes her ass. I know that they had a connection, but like watching that, it felt disrespectful. Jake. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. This is what the ultimatum is for. Ask a question. Go ahead. Why'd you bring me on the show? Yeah, why would you bring... Actually, that's a great... That's probably one of the greatest questions along with the other question, why was the show made? Two great questions to ask. I always... I feel like watching The Ultimatum, if we go back and watch, every time a girl is on the show, they'll look at their guy and be like, what are you doing? What are you, what are you seeing other girls? When the show is literally about people going to date someone else. And every time, the girls would get like this weird jealous phase. And... I, I say the goals because the only guy that was getting jealous was Kobe. That was it. And he's a goal pretty much. I don't mean that in a derogatory, I'm just saying this bitch is crazy. I brought you on the show because I wanted to marry you. you did. I'm glad you didn't propose. Well, that's like bringing someone to the sea because you want them to be a pilot. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. Make it make sense, April. Don't take him on the ultimatum because you want to marry him. Take him to a place where he'll want to see, oh yes, I can spend the rest of my life with this woman. She's giving me everything I need, so how could I ever want anyone else? If you're going to give him a choice and blackmail him into marrying you, he's not going to. The fact that you didn't care about any of that and you total disregard of all my feelings towards the show and me not wanting to be there. You knew I was not comfortable at all going on to this. By the way, uh, I just want to say, this is probably the most real part of the show that I've seen. I think this is what the show is about. Like, if, you, if we're going to have this crappy show and we're actually going to commit to it, it's about this. It's about talking about why things didn't work out. April and Jake are probably the most real characters on the show in terms of how we look at people in a relationship. Whenever someone looks on Instagram or anything else, they're like, wow, what a perfect relationship, handsome couple. But the thing is, there are issues that stem beyond that. And now it's about walking those out, finding what you want at an age that you want it. Keep in mind, Jake is 25, 26, April is 22, 23. They're young. This might not be the place that they end up in. Marriage is a long process and it lasts forever if you do it right. So are you really going to make that decision right now? Are there other things that you can do beforehand? There are all these questions and you need to find those out and ask them before you settle down with that person. Because yes means yes forever. At least in my eyes. Moment, but I me, put my foot down and if you were buying Ray a car, if you were buying her a house, why was it so fucking hard to marry me? He bought you a house? I would propose to him at that point. I mean, is he single? I just, I'm just asking. God damn. She did. Look at it. Look at it. What the? Come on. What the fuck, bro? Why would you buy me a house? Why would you buy it for me? Tell me why. Oh my God. Look at this guy. Look at you. He did Robert De Niro face. Mm. That's cool. As you know, I got dragged on this. I got dragged on the experience. I'm taking it in full. I got dragged on this. She dragged me on it. <laughs> that was pretty good. Come on. I'm going to have hot girl winter. Hot girl winter? It's okay. I'll explain later. Hot girl summer. He's cute. You guys, he's 48. Winter. He doesn't know what that is. It's okay. Hot girl winter? Is that when a girl goes into a hot tub in this winter? I do not get it. Hot girl summer? Is that when a girl commits arson on herself? <laughs> it's funny because humorous. Right on in. I've already moved in. This is someone who wakes up every single day with me and says, I love you. I can't wait to marry you. Doesn't feel real. Well, okay, let me stop you there. You're saying this like a bad thing, April, and you shouldn't be saying it like a bad thing. You should be thanking Jake at the fact that you got to have this experience. Every ex that I've dated, I, I left by saying thank you because they led me closer to the person who I will be with in the end. Every single one of them taught me a lot about myself and what I want. And... Whether they like it or not, they contributed to where I will end up in life. And I can't thank them enough for it. Why, why wouldn't I? I shared some of the best memories with them. And I would never take that away from them. So I think that April, she, I mean, I would have thanked Jake and been like, you, you led me to a path where I now know my worth. And I now found someone who realizes my worth. Do you know what I mean? Are you getting... Are you, is April just angry talking while I'm talking? We actually did not go on a trip. And so lastly, we go to Ray and Jake, who left 
as the only couple who went on the show with different people and ended up together. So we thought it was almost like a wild whirlwind romance when they left for a ticket to anywhere. But apparently, they didn't go nowhere. We kind of came to a consensus that everybody needed more time to heal. What? Okay. What? Okay. I, I love Vanessa's input to situations. I have nothing else, sorry. <laughs> it's just air in there. I tried to be more expressive with him and I actually feel like he became like a better communicator. But ultimately it didn't work. Because we were together, correct? Oh! It's a bombshell. It's another bombshell. That, that, weirdly enough, wasn't the bombshell that I was talking about, the 16 cent bet, but you already lost, so you owe me 16 cents. She went back to Zay when she was with Jake. Oh, God. If his name was Drake instead of Jake, this would have been an album. Are so, like, into Jake? Why are you fucking me? Why are you fucking me every day? You know? I'd like to plead the fuff, Your Honor. I'm, I'm sorry. Did he say, why are you effing me every day? Saying come out we did not sure, have not sex sure every that. single day. When you have to specify that it wasn't every single day, it still looks pretty bad. <laughs> That's like saying, like, you committed crimes every day. I, d I didn't do it every day, yo. It was every night. It wasn't every day, bro. Featuring Jake Paul and Nick Crompton. It was every night, sis. Featuring rice gum and some other lady. Unbelievable. I was not doing it every day. It was like... Four times a week. And then the weekends. Come on. Zay. Talk to me nice. I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm... <laughs> oh! Nick throwing in the comments. Zay, talk to me nice. God, that sounds familiar. I wish I could talk to my wife like that. God damn it, Zay, teach me your ways. And we all remember it. Um, where you kind of went MIA. <laughs> <sighs> man, whenever Zay talks for too long, I just switch off. I, I just, I can never understand what this man is saying. Because he just, he just goes on and never has a point. You know, me and her used to be like friends, but then... After a while, we was like, and then she was like, you have to understand that she was not being the way that I was trying to communicate into her ear holes, and she was not reciprocating through her nostrils, and she was doing the nose flaring thing, and I was like, whoa, 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 you gotta stop it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Sorry, I zoned out. Did you, did, who said something? This, this, and this, and that. And I didn't get any answers, and I wanted to escape. My phone died. I was with one of my friends and one of her friends, and... And her friend's phone died, and one of my friend's phone died, so I escaped. I didn't even escape, you know, I escaped, and I didn't even know what a payphone <coughs> was and you know uh they asked me how i got home i said i don't even know i, I didn't even know what a phone was I, I i you know i was i was using carrier pigeons to send mails to her at that point i end up getting drunk and passing out at his house so that's the truth that's my truth well that is my truth which happens to be a uh, your lie and uh my truth is that i passed out on his couch but the actual truth was she passed out on my dick <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. You should have came home earlier. In my head, I'm just thinking, like, what is... Like, I'm asking you in the nicest way possible, and it, I'm... I'm, 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 I'm changing. I'm, 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 I'm changing the way that I talk to you. I'm trying to be a better man. I've been singing with the Texans again. And drinking with them too Zay, I mean Ray I'm trying to come back to you But but for real, I, I don't know what, what I'm even saying Yeah, you're right, we're different people But at the end of the day, if you love somebody It's about reassuring the person that you're supposed to be in love with That you care about them Not necessarily I mean, yes, of course Tell them you love them But not necessarily in the way that another person expects you to say it I cannot force someone who's not talkative or doesn't reciprocate or respond in a certain way to be that way. If that's not how you do things, I can't really force you to do that. But uh, the same thing in turn. You can't force me to be okay with <laughs> how you respond to things. So say I like talking things out and someone else doesn't like it. It's not up to me to be like, you need to talk to me. And it's not up to them to be like, well, you need to not talk about it. Sometimes it just works where you have to find someone who can or at least does the same thing you do. If you get lucky, you'll find someone who's willing to compromise and willing to try things. I think that, you know, willing to bend to the person's womb might not always work 100% of the time, but if you do it enough and you guys reach a compromise, it's good. 
But it's not going to work in the long run if someone is super talkative and the other person doesn't know how to talk. Because when you have fights, it's just going to go and escalate into something worse and worse and worse. And nobody wants that. Have you started dating anybody since? Um, I have not. I've well, I have not been dating those people, no, to answer your question. And I will leave it at that. Zay, I have been doing other things with them, many things that is not dating. I will leave it at that. What are your thoughts on the dating world? Figuring out myself and my sexuality because I was very uncomfortable with being bi for a very long time. Since Zay and I have been done, I've just been with one girl. And That's a bombshell. That's a b -b 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 bombshell. I did not know that she was, uh, I did not know that she was bi. Wow, she is. To quote my favorite YouTuber, Lily Singh, a bisexual woman of color. <laughs> Congrats. Cool. Awesome. And also, I think this is necessary and probably a good thing in terms of the fact that you're uh, of an age where you could experiment and find out what it is that you want to need and in terms of love in order to give and receive. And it's a good age to be doing this. Not everybody discovers what they want at a certain age. That's why love is so different for everyone. So there's nothing wrong with that. I think everybody's out here having fun. You know, I, I, like, I like you. And I don't know. What do you think? We can head back now if you're ready. So now we're going to talk about Shanique and Zay. The two most, well, uh, how do I say this? The people that can, can dish it out the most, you know? I did feel um, betrayed. I know what we signed up for, but this is still my person. Like, I was jealous. I was jealous. Like, who would put themselves in a position like this? Randall was going out and he was getting with Madeline. And I was like, is, like, is he cheating? Uh, but w weren't you with Zay giving him the sloppy toppy? But I was jealous is why he did it, obviously. Did Zay ever tell you, Ray? No, Zay did not tell me about that. He constantly accused me of doing stuff like that with Jake when I didn't. Because he didn't press record on it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. But also, goddamn, Shanique, did you tell Randall that you gave Zay sloppy toppy? And for all of you who don't know, yes, yes, Shanique did it. She did it. She gave Zay the super suck. And my boy Randall is just sitting there, just living. It's very sad. I feel sorry for him. Because that didn't fucking happen. You accused me of getting with Jake multiple times. When all I did was kiss him and tongue him and do other things with handcuffs that we didn't show on the show, but the box was there. And, and Jake said, I should have taken it away. But, 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 but you know, th I'm not on trial here. You are, Zay. So let's, let's get back to you, please. <laughs> what I want an apology for, that you did not tell me about it, and you accused me of doing that with Jake. Uh, Ray is right. She's batting a thousand. Fuck you! He who dealt it, smelt it type beat. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, especially on a show like this, if you're going to talk about it, be like, yes, I did some things. Uh, if you're going to be in a relationship or you want to try working out a relationship with someone, you got to tell them the truth. If you don't, it'll come back to haunt you later. And you don't want that, especially if you really like that person or love them. So if you're getting the sucky sucky, you got you to gotta disclose that. Hey, you know, when we were on our break on the three weeks, I did some things. I got some things. My car got serviced. My exhaust pipes got cleaned, if you know what I mean. Did yours? Good? Okay, so we both had our cars serviced. Well, we've got some brand new cars. Let's race. You were the only guy that never sexualized me, and we actually did have a genuine connection without that. You never sexualized me. You treated me like a woman, like a queen. So I sucked off Zay. I told you no to actually going anywhere with you. And also, I'm dating a girl now. So, yeah. I guess nice guys do finish last, huh? Oh, they don't finish at all. Am I right? with her instead of telling me why you let me i like how randall just looks at people she's like busy screaming and he's like he's i don't know if he's zoned out or he's actually listening he's he's just like there very intently looking at people make do you have wanna, a friendship do you with her to, like do you want i don't think you like i know you, don't I, attack I, me I'm, i have I'm, a right I'm, to be I'm, I'm, classic zay cannot go on a show or do anything without picking a fight with someone. I love it. He cannot, he's like incapable of doing anything. I feel like he goes to the grocery store and he's like, oh uh, yeah, I'll take one uh, pack of gum. And she's like, that'll be 99 cents. 99, 
It was ninety eight last week. What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you, what are you trying to play me? What? 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 What are you doing? What are you? What are you? Was you, what are you sleeping with someone? What, what? What? Why is the price going up every time? The only thing that should be going up is my my my, my dick. You know what I mean? Like wow. Don't deflect not, right now because you always I'm, deflect. You always fucking do this. You always do you deflect. Wanna, do you want to go there? Don't raise your with voice you. at me. Do you You're not go gonna make me you. back down this time. I, I mean, uh, okay. Hate to be a stickler, but, but you're raising your voice at uh, Zay. At this point, uh, you are screaming at him. <laughs> it's very, like, Did I and not I'm accept it? Did I not say you're that? Yelling and talking over me. Jake, you you sitting there looking at me? No, oh, hey, hey, don't bring me into this, bro. What the hell? Um, I just got. Did you not hear what happened? I treated her like a goddamn queen. She left me, sucked you off. Now she's dating a girl. This is my. You know how many jokes the homies make at me? You know, Zay, because of you, everybody hates me. I don't want to agree with you, man. Did, did I not just say I accept full responsibility? Did I you not say that? You said you accepted it while you were counterattacking. What, what the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, 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 hey. Now she's screaming. Now she's screaming. Nobody's going to stop her. But if Zay started screaming, people would stop him. I feel like I don't care, man. I don't care who you are. If you're going to be screaming at someone, you got to show them respect. I like Ray. I do like her, but you got to show someone respect. I don't care if it's your first time screaming or this or that, but you, you can't be doing that to people. This is not how you have a honest intellectual dialogue. It's not going to get you results because at the end of the day, say you want to get somewhere with someone. Say you want to establish a connection and conversation. Screaming at it is it's never going to work. So this is not good. I don't like that. Sincerely apologize. Watch out, fam. You could have told me instead of attacking me every time. The classic trope of... Zay's leaving. <laughs> he does it in every show. I'm leaving this place, man. This is your house, Zay. Well, I don't even need it anymore. I'm going to my car. Man, I'm leaving this car. This is my car, Zay. You just stole it. Well, it's yours now. I guess I'm leaving it now. Let me get a fucking break. His real name's Group 3? <laughs> Come on, man. I'm trying to lighten the mood. We really just want you guys to be happy. We don't want to see you in pain. Then why'd you make the show, big face? What is up with you? Why would you make a show called Ultimatum Marry or Move On without expecting any consequences? Come on, Vanessa, don't lie. That's like making Saw the movie and being like, Oh, I'm sorry if you got a fan. I'm did you not like blood? Shanique and Randall, <laughs> hi. How's it going? Well, um, before we get into everything, when we left you guys on the show, Randall was down on one knee. My boy Randall, the only person who ever keeps getting messed up, even though he did nothing wrong. Everybody just hates on him for no reason. Ba, ba, ba. Randall, his girl sucked off Zay. Ba, 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 ba. His other girl is now married to Colby and has a baby. Ba, 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 ba. He's lost out on every battle he's ever fought in. Bah, bah. Oh, poor Randall. So we actually broke up for like six months. Those sort of foundational things that we talked about on the experience. This is why I don't trust shows like this. They got married and that's how it ended. So most people who uh, stop watching the show, stop keeping up with the show, are like, yeah, they ended up happily ever after. Uh, but didn't they break? Shut up, shut up. They ended up happily ever after ever. Every single person ended up happy except Zay, who deserved it. They broke up for six months. Like a real couple, they actually had to go through issues in order to solve them. I think in any great relationship, you're going to go through these obstacles. It's not... In a great relationship, it's not about whether you fight or not. It's about whether you can overcome those fights. I, I genuinely believe that. Because someone's going to... If you find someone good enough, they're going to test you in every way possible and make you better in that sense. So you're going to have disagreements. But if you can get past them, then you're good. And if they're worth it, you'll fight. Not them, you'll fight for them. Oh my God, guys. My best friend in every way, in every way. And um, just one of the best things that's ever happened to me in my life. And which is why I broke up with him because I didn't like him and I was like, I don't like myself. I get it, I get it, I get it. I mean, this is what being in your 20s is about, I think. I'm not any better than the next person. I don't know much about relationships. I, I've been in enough to know that you do need time to figure yourself out. Otherwise, you can never truly make the other person happy because you'll always feel some insecurities or inadequacies that might bleed into the relationship. And that's not healthy. I'm not saying you have to be like a guru or a saint, but you can't have so many insecurities that it actually takes a toll on the relationship. And if two people both have that, whew, you're, in a, you're basically in a ship with holes in it. We're just not in that place that we were on the show. Because I, I watched that back and, like, completely mortified. Like, 
the way that we were communicating and arguing. Well, it was more, I'm sorry, Randall, I'm going to take this one. It was actually 95% you. I'm not going to let my boy Randall take the hit because if I did actually see him do anything wrong, I would have called his ass out on it. The problem is I didn't really see anything wrong. The only thing wrong he ever did was show interest in Madeline, which I still don't get. I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, have you seen Shanique throughout the show? She basically gaslights this man, just makes him feel like he's not good enough for some reason, and then says he's good enough because she knows he's good enough because everyone else wants to get with him. She gets jealous when he's with another person, but she gets sassy when he's with her. Can I ask, did you date anybody else in those six months? Or you tried and you- Yeah, I went on a couple of dates. You went on dates? Yeah. Uh, not really. <laughs> oh, God. No. Did you, did you date anyone? Yeah. How about you, uh, Randall? Not really, no. I, w I was trying to work on myself in that time. Weren't you? <laughs> I was getting worked out one way or another. After we broke up, like, it was a tough year for me. Like I lost a lot of people in my life. Grandmother, my aunt, my one of my best friends. Oh my God, this is even worse, Shanika. What? This man lost three super important people in his life. Meanwhile, you are like, yeah, I need to figure out myself and date some people. So you also lost me pretty much. If there was ever a clear signal you need to stand by your man, this would be it. This would be it. I just think our journey is a little bit different than everybody else. I'm just excited for, for what's to come. Uh, as usual, I keep saying, uh, Randall's probably the most self-reflective person, and that's going to go far, regardless. I mean, I don't think anybody's looking there and being like, oh yeah, Randall's not a good dude. He seems like probably the most stable one. That, the one I'd go for him. Live with each other. Leaving the show and getting married, we had to completely recommit. We're not we're not fighting for ourselves anymore. We're fighting. Okay. Well, I mean, I, that's a lot of information to take in. Apparently, they're not married, but they live together, or they live separately, but they're married. I'm not really sure what Madeline even said right there, but I guess having the baby means they fight less with each other and more for each other. Something I think will, oh, well, I know won't hold up because I'm, come from a broken family. So like, I, I get it. I don't think that's true. I think it'll go back to the place that it was if it was in that place and you guys didn't grow. It's been Isn't that crazy? Like sometimes you think you're gonna lose part really, of yourself, yeah. but in fact, you're actually, you're actually growing it. Because that's a very beautiful, <laughs> profound thing Nick said. <laughs> I, this man constantly surprises me. He's like dumb for 95 minutes and the other five minutes he's like, I'll say a smart thing now. You, you gain. By marriage, you don't lose, you gain. And I know that it seems silly, but I think uh, closer to the time, people start realizing, oh, will I be taken away? And I'm going to now be sharing all of my life with someone. But that thought is probably derailed by the fact that you love them so much that you've already been with them. It's not that much different. You're just now committing and making it official. Which which kind of is the same with boyfriend and girlfriend. I I don't know. Marriage is a, is a construct at this point. Um, it's up to you what to think about it. I personally love it. I love big rings. As you can see, I have one. Oh, someone stole it. Well, I, I'd like to get married. I think I just need to wait for the right time. And I think most people just need to wait for that right person, right time, right place. Then it might not be as hard as it is. That was the worst way to possibly do it, obviously, but that's the way I took. I definitely regret it. I love I love how she looks at him and she's like if if you did that I would I would I would I would I'd maul your balls you know Hunter is like yeah no I I get it I, that's why I didn't do it I'm not him you get that right my now. friends are just a hundred percent support Madeline so at that moment I wasn't liking Colby so they don't like Colby well, I'm glad that you understand that it's not the most healthy thing it's actually the worst thing because the next fight you have. They're gonna bring up everything bad about Colby, and the next time you're like, oh, he's great, they'll bring up everything great about Colby. It's not good to have your friends as an echo chamber. Trust me, you don't want that. You want friends who can sit you down and be like, okay, here's what I think you could do. Here's how I could help you. Here's how I'm gonna bring you up in life. Not, yes, 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 great job, Madeline. Nice, I like, I like Randall better. Oh, you like, oh, you're having baby with Colby. Well, I like Colby better. They got my back too now, so. Ultimatum season one, cheers to you all. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers to you guys. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Uh, well, yeah, cheers to the ultimatum. Uh, someone actually said in the last video, the reason they use steel cups is for continuity. And I was like, what does that mean? And actually what I think they meant, which which is makes so much sense, is that because of how bad the show was with continuity, the drinks would constantly fluctuate. So if they have steel cups, you couldn't see the liquid in the cup. Therefore, you'd think that the shots 
where continuity, but like they cut it so much to create narratives that it would absolutely destroy the continuity if they had clear glasses. Amazing catch, whoever did that, shout outs to you. Who else would you have picked as your partner? April. I think I would have picked Colby. Shock. Yes, Colby would have been a hot pick. So everyone would have wanted to pick Colby apparently if they had a do-over, don't get it. Anyway, next one. <laughs> Which cast member do you think has learned the least? Zay. Wow. I'm gonna go with Nate. Oh, sorry, Nate. Yeah, my, bu my bad. That's fair, because he wasn't there, right? Like. <laughs> Can I just say, the one time Hunter has ever talked, he's talked maybe three times in the ten episodes, and one of the things he had to say was, yeah, Nate has not learned shit. Go, Hunter. This is my actual favorite dude in the show now. I, I, I think he's my favorite. Most shocking thing you learned about another castmate. That olive oil can be doubled as lube. Hey! Wow. <laughs> I already knew that. I don't know why I reacted like that, but oh my god, I didn't want. I, I'd be weird if my girlfriend said it, and it wasn't me. All right, guys. Before we wrap up, I'd love to hear how you all feel about about ultimatums. I mean, I'm pro ultimatum. I got engaged, so. I can't believe she said that. She she didn't need to say it. She said it. Shanique a freak, man. Shanique thy freak. Ah, uh, damn. Just kind of coasting because the other person can't come. And I feel like a lot of those situations would end up like Alexa. Yeah, no, I don't think so, April. I don't think so. I think a lot of them would end up like you and Jake, which probably might be the right thing. But sometimes you need to let people coast because not everybody's in the same position as you. Not everybody even wants to get married right away. Like sometimes we see other people and place our insecurities and lifestyle on them, which is never the right thing to do. Because everybody's operating at a different space and you just gotta let them breathe, okay? Thank you guys so much for being here, being vulnerable. I hate, I hate that music. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Well, that is the end of the Ultimatum Reunion. It's a show where uh, it lost me more brain cells than it gained me uh, subscribers. Uh, I learned from the show that you can angry talk, which is probably the, the most informative thing that I've ever seen on the show. Um, and from the reunion, I learned that Zay is the exact same person. So a lot of people don't actually learn even though they say they do. Also, nothing is as you see on reality TV, even though every show seems to end happily ever after. The reunion show often tells the problems and plight that the people have afterwards. So, I guess at the end of the day, don't place your relationship on what you see on TV. Yours is great no matter how it is, and if it's not great, then it's leading to a better one that will be at some point in your future. That much I know. That's the show. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you for sticking it out with me. And um, until then, I am going to go. Oh my god. Anyway, that's the show. I don't think I'll ever do another 10 out. Did you guys hear that? Oh my god. There's another show called Too Hot to Handle, and it sucks, and the last season was the worst season? I guess I have more work to do. I'll see you guys later. Leo out.